Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Brand new release day on a Friday. Pick your team number three of the brand new 2018 Bowman's Best Baseball. A St. Nick prize being given away at the end of this as well. A nice gift there. There's Paul Coolwit with double last spot mojo. Thanks to Paul for getting the last couple teams there. And there's everyone else. Thanks for joining in on the action. Pick your team three. Eight boxes. Four autos a box. 32 autographs total. And a prize at the end. Sounds good to me. Good luck, everyone. So we've got all eight boxes right here. All right, good luck. Here we go. So we've got this great brand new release. We've been pulling some nice stuff out of here already. Um, pick your team number, so this is pick your team three. Welcome. Pick your team four is down to nine. Pick your team five is down to 12. That's almost in single digits. I think we can get through four and five tonight. Maybe even six, maybe seven. That'd be crazy. Could we? I think we could. Still pretty early in the day. Got, got some good momentum going. I think it's definitely possible. According to a source, ladies and gentlemen, it appears that the Red Sox are waiting to see what happens with Craig Kimbrell before making any moves in the relief market. That was, that was yesterday, according to Mark Feinstead. A lot of moves happening, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I see. It looks like number four is at three and five is at four. All right. So then six is at 16 and seven is at 16. Maybe we'll do seven cases of this tonight, ladies and gentlemen. All right. We got Connor Scott. Connor Scott for the Marlins. That'll be for Paul Cool Whit. That was the last spot mojo team. Just sitting there. All right, there you go. 17 out of 25. We got Dustin Fowler as well. What's up, Frankie? That's right. It's exactly what we did. The Dodgers did indeed give away all those players for tax relief. You know, no one didn't want to pay Matt Kemp $20 million. Yasiel Puig was going to get another 30 or another 10, $12 million. So they opened up a lot of payroll space for potential Bryce Harper move. There's Keston Hiuda. Nice one for the Brewers. That'll be for Rory and the Brew Crew. There's Harrison Bader, 250. But I don't think Jeter Downs or Josiah Gray, the two Reds prospects the Dodger got, those guys aren't slouches either. There's Nolan Gorman, Cardinals. That'll be for Luke Smith and the Nolan Gorman. And Ethan Hankins for the Tribe. That'll go to Paul Coolwit and the Indians. The other last spot mojo team. So both last spot mojo teams. The last two teams that were left hitting in the first box, both of them. Next 
next box. All right, next one, next four autos. Good luck, everybody. What are the guys on MLB Tonight doing? They've, they've got a string. I don't have the volume up. they got a string from the pitcher's mound to home plate. Oh, are they talking about where the real, some guy's release point is? These boxes take longer to open than to go through. Isn't that the case with almost every? I guess not with Dynasty. Definitely with Draft. All right. Next one. We've got Best Performers Gold. Hunter Green, nice. 19 out of 50. Oh, well, dollar sign in there, I see. All right. There you go, Southern California kid, speaking of the Reds, there he is. Nice, Frankie saying, just thought it was funny because Dodger will release. Yeah, we the, Homer Bailey will ne never be in a Dodgers uniform. This is true. Nolan Arenado, 150. It's kind of funny because that's how the Dodgers are kind of using their financial uh, muscle, I suppose. There's Matthew Libertor for the Rays. Like, they're not, I don't think they're going to do something crazy. I don't think they're going to sign Bryce Harper for 10 million or 10 years and $400 million a year, something like that. They won't do that, but they'll just, <laughs> they'll just uh, trade for a guy and then just straight up release him. And just eat that money, but then they still save money because they don't. They'll get Kemp off the books. That Matthew Libertor is a nice one. That'll go to the Rays. Jeremy Tillman with the Rays, and then we've got another Connor Scott Marlins. Another one for the last spot mojo. Yeah, the Hunter Green auto, you mean, Rory? That's a good-looking auto. Did you see the, did you see the Hiro, Hirura Keston autograph? Hirura? And the nice Ozzy Albius. 63 out of 99 for the Braves. Jared with the Neophyte Sensations. Nice Albius autograph. And there's your four from this box. And this was Luis Robert. Early indications, 16 out of 50 on that one. Noel Arenado will be a free agent next year. Yeah, that, that's, that's a nice auto. UC Irvine kid, ladies and gentlemen. Grew up in Southern California here, went to UC Irvine. I think the first time UC, the UC Irvine baseball team had a uh, had a player draft in the first round. UC Irvine, not exactly known for their, not exactly a baseball, a college baseball powerhouse. Landon says, Nick might need to move that St. Nick Prone from Dynasty to another Bowman's Best. Why? Then there's no bonus for, for doing Dynasty. All 
All right, maybe we maybe we got to add maybe we got to add another a second prime. Maybe we have we should probably take one away from uh, from a Bowman's best and put it put a second prize in Dynasty to get that to go. See how that works, Landon. <laughs> At the end, when there's only one gift left, and it's just Dynasty, I guess we'll ha we're gonna have to do Dynasty. See what's in that last, in that last Christmas box. Ninety-three out of ninety-nine, Brady Singer. That'll go to the Royals. That'll be for Todd. EA wants that swag. I got that swag. You got that swag. Clayton Kershaw, Atomic. There's Javier Baez and Ryan Rollison for the Rocks. Paul Cool Whit. All cool fit with the Rockies. And Javier Baez for the Cubbies. Also for Paul? No, for Rick. Rick Barker, that one. And Jeter Downs. I've heard of this guy. Reds edition. That goes to Josh Pruce. There you are. Maybe maybe TJ will see him at the at the double A level. And we've got for the Blue Jays Riley Adams. That'll go to Big Boys 007 and the Blue Jays. Those will ship, though. All right, next one. Hello, what is going on? Best four is down to two. Ah, I see. TJ saying that he'll probably. Yeah, where would Gavin Lux go? That's interesting. I feel like one. I feel like Jeter Downs or Gavin Lux can be can be spun off for a trade at some point. But maybe Jeter Downs starts in. Oh, starts out in Ranch Cucamonga. That's where Joe Kelly lives, TJ. I just learned that today on the radio. Joe Kelly a, grew up in Southern California and uh, just signed by the Dodgers from the Red Sox. He says he lives in the old uh, Inland Empire, Ranch Cucamonga area. There's Josh Stowers for the Mariners. That goes to John Samuelson. John doing all right with the uh, Bowman's Best. Nice on card there. Well, you got a numbered card, Rick. No auto yet. Still looking for that. I had a 250 Connor Scott Purple Chrome. And Trevor Larnock for the Twins. Austin Meadows to 99. Who's got the Twins? That'll be Landon. There you go, Landon. Landon with the Twinkies. All 
I thought it was a great trade, Gilo, the Dodgers trade today. I think they, they're definitely opening up a lot of, uh, you know, they saved a lot of money in that trade, even though they're just straight up releasing Homer Bailey. They're actually saving money on that deal, maybe opening the door for, no, not that guy. I was hoping he'd show up. Maybe opening the door for, no, none of these guys. Uh, maybe, the, uh, probably not this guy. Maybe opening the door for, no, not Austin Meadows. That's Pirates edition of Austin Meadows. We've been seeing his base card. Huh? For Bryce Harper. <laughs> I was hoping that his base card would show up. Austin Meadows going to EA and the Pirates. Rory hoping for a Bryce Turing redemption. He's got the Brewers in this one. Oh, with some color on it too. Best of 2018 autograph. No parallel of... A? Bryce doesn't start with A, Rory. And Anthony... Oh, Anthony Sigler for the Yankees. New York Yankees. That goes to Ed Aarons. There you go, Ed. Catching prospect, I think. But yeah, at the end of the day, you know, even though the Dodgers got a couple prospects back, Josiah Gray, and especially Jeter Downs, I mean, really just a TJ's right, basically a salary dump to open up payroll space. Not pay Puig, not pay who's up for arbitration, and not pay um, Matt Kemp. And see if they could find find a, a contract that works for uh, find a contract that works for Bryce Harper. Now I was saying earlier, I don't think I don't think the Dodgers are the kind of team that wants to do like a, a 10 year three hundred and fifty million dollar contract, but maybe the Dodgers could go for a higher average annual value and a short and shorter years plus opt outs. Maybe thirty five, forty million a year, something like that. But for Four or five years? I think it's a possibility. <laughs> Joe Ivers, what's going on? Are we trying? Are, are we trying it? Fresh box. Let's see what happens. And uh, Gilo, we were in fact we were just talking about Gavin Lux before you stepped in, because I was like, oh, maybe Jeter Downs will end up with TJ and the Drillers in Tulsa, and TJ was like, well, he probably start in Single A and Ranch Cucamonga, and he was like speculating, where does where does Gavin Lux go? Which was a prep school prospect. Middle infielder. So where does he go? Maybe maybe there are pieces for trades. Who knows? All right. Well, let's let's see if it works, Joe Ivers. First auto though is for the Redbirds, Nolan Gorman. That'll be for Luke Smith and the Cardinals. Nice one, Luke. Yeah, TJ saying Gavin Lux did well for us during the Tulsa Drillers' championship run. And won their league title, ladies and gentlemen. And um, so we came to Tulsa in early August and just t turned it on. Kevin Kramer for the Pirates, EA with the Buckos. So we'll see. I think early in his season, I think Gavin Lux's first season or two, there were some question marks about how he was going to develop. But yeah, I think. Double A with TJ seem to turn it on. So we'll see how that works out. Could be trade pieces. Dodgers do need a catcher. JT Real Muto is still out there. There's Cole Wynn. Best performers. Rangers. That goes to Jaden Becker. Nice. That's the Rangers' first round pick. There you go. Out of 150. 15th overall. There's that swag, no ink though, out of 150. That's what EA is looking for, some ink on that. Dustin Fowler and Jordan Groshans for the Blue Jays. Big Boys 007 with another one. Oh, is Kevin Kramer the kid from, from Turlock, Northern California?
No, it doesn't say back here, but there you go. West Coast Kid. All right, three boxes to go, 12 autos to go. Good luck. Also, uh, amazing saying, I'm telling you, Mets have three catchers. One is going to LA. Do we want any of your catchers though? How come you guys don't want them? Now, no train whistle yet, Landon. Not yet. We do have three boxes to go, so plenty of time. Thing is, Dodgers have a couple strong catching prospects in the minors that they're very high on. Kybert Ruiz and Will Smith. So, unless they feel like one of those Mets catchers can be an everyday guy for a year or two, I don't know if they're really going to... I mean, a deal could be made, but I don't know if there's going to be a significant deal, a significant priority for that. They may want to try Real Muto first and see what happens. So, TJ is saying Gavin Lux actually who was in, in, in the set last year, right? Actually led the Cal League in hitting when he got to you guys in Texas, Texas League. Didn't lose the title until the last week of the season. So he must have had, yeah, he must have had a sizable lead. And Lux got two rings? One from Ranch Cucamonga and in Tulsa? Got two of those nice rings just hanging out. All right, Matt Olson is your first autograph out of this one. Nick Sanderson on the board. With the Oakland A's. Jeremy Nicholas saying, speaking of Will Smith, he's not going to be the new Men in Black movie? What's Men in Black without without Will Smith? Actor Will Smith. Not baseball player Will. They, should they just get should they just get baseball player Will Smith to to play that part? There's Willie Adams to 50. Starring Will Smith. Baseball player. There's Didi Gregorius. Although I, I, I suppose due to Screen Actor Guild moves, uh, rules, he would have to be like William Smith or something like that. Nice. That's Nick Madrigal. That's a big pickup, or that's a big hit for Adam Wilson. Big pickup for the White Sox, that is. Big draftee. Nice. There he is. Fourth overall pick. So nice one for Adam Wilson and the White Sox. Oh, Will Smith is going to be, though, the genie in the new Aladdin. Is this, is this live action Aladdin? Are they overdoing this live action thing? Shane McClanahan for the Rays. Jeremy Tillman with Tampa Bay. A good pick, though. Yeah, I agree, TJ. It's Charlie Blackman to ninety nine, and Logan Gilbert, autograph for John Samson and the Mariners. John Samson, you're picking him, picking him. Two boxes to go. I'm not. I'm not too sure about all these live action. Although the Jungle Book live action one was pretty good. Not the more recent one. The one before. How many Jungle Book movies have there been in like the last seven years? Like eight, nine. Uh, I mean, I guess there's the new Lion King movie. I mean, it's just money grabs, right? I'll probably go watch. <laughs> That's the problem. They know. 
I know, Landon. It's a money grab, but like I'm gonna go see it, right? It looks good. <laughs> it's exactly the same. They're not. They're not like. It's not even a reimagination of it. It's just like. It's pretty much the animated one, except with. And like I know it's a money grab, and I know it's just, just Disney just, just pulling money out of my wallet again, but. There's a live action Dumbo as well. Oh man. See, and they already done the live action Alice in Wonderland. What next? Peter Pan? I'm trying not to, William, but... I mean, I'm fine with the animated versions. Oh, I guess they did do Hook. Hook's pretty good. Now, aren't they Scientologists, Rich? There's JD Martinez gold to 50. Or same, I guess, same difference. 17 out of fef, uh, 50. 50? 50. Keston Hiuda for Rory and the Brew Crew. There's Logan Gilbert to, tw uh, to 250, not 25, to 250. There's Nico Horner, Hor Herner, Herner? Horner, it's probably just Horner, huh? Uh, that goes to Rick Barker and the Cubs, there you go. Your first auto out of this Bowman's Best break, Rick. This is true, William. Yeah, I guess I gotta. I just have to stick with those. There's Jordan Groshans for the Blue Jays again. That'll be for Big Boys Double O Seven. Brandon McKay. These are just atomics. I thought it might have been numbered. Nice Brendan McKay for the Rays. That could be your next two-way player. First baseman and a pitcher. Which could work nicely with the way the Rays use their rotation. Jeremy Tillman with the Rays. All right. Final box, pick your team three. And we've got pick your team four down to two teams left. Pick your team five down to three teams left. Pick your team six down to 16 teams left. We haven't, we haven't done five breaks of Bowman's best, Rick. Because like that auto cost me four hundred bucks, one in five breaks. Oh, we've only done three of these. You've only been in one or two of these. Bowman's best, brand new release, just came out today. Yeah, you did, Rory. Come on, right, you're not paying attention, Rory. You missed it. Gold. Oh man, it was a whole thing. We were everybody was yelling gold. Who all wants to see the leprechaun say yeah? Oh, it was crazy, or you missed it. It was a good time. We thought you were here for it. Yeah, we all hit. That's right, John. John Sanderson, we went crazy. Oh, man. I was like, I'm going to rent me a backhoe and uproot that tree. I want the gold. Give me the gold. I want to know where the gold's at. Oh, it was it was just nuts. We were just like 
Everybody on the gold train! Woo woo! You know, we freaked out. Who want the gold? I want the gold. Who want the gold? I want the gold. You know, we were going nuts. Going nuts. Any guesses on that redemption, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, look at this. Early indications, Justin Williams out of 100. That's a nice looking one for Jeremy Tillman in the Rays. I don't know, we haven't seen a super fracture in any of the draft, Rich Schmidt, or any of this Bones Best. Give me that super. It's Kershaw to 250. And Josh Bro. Josh Bro going to Ed Aarons. Ed Aarons with the bra. Well, what are we watching on MLB Network presents Tommy Lee Jones in Cobb? I don't really remember this movie. And there's Adbert Alzole. That's another cubby for Rick Barker. Bradley Whitford's in this? I hope he makes it to the majors. Because you know, like, his, his player's weekend jersey has to be sup, bro, right? It's got to be. It's got to be. Brendan McKay reveals best of autograph of J E. There's the Jaron Kendall. Goes to John Samuelson. John Samuelson's been hitting these teams on the nose today. Go buy a lottery ticket, John Samuelson. Share with the rest. Dodgers prospect. Although I don't really know too much about him for some reason. I haven't really looked him up. All right. Well, let's see who's going to win the prize. Oh, I see. It's because John Samuelson stayed at a Holiday Inn Express. That makes sense. All right, let's give away a prize. Robert Edwards down to Josh Reich. Do they have free cookies at the Holiday Inn Express? Are they as good as the Double Tree chocolate chip cookies? Man, those Double Tree cookies are really delicious. All right, so let's roll the dice. Let's randomize each list two and a four six times. Names first. One, two, three. Four, five, and sixth and final time. After six times, name on top. Five, four, three, two, one. Josh, didn't Josh win another box previously? All right, well, Merry Christmas, Josh. All right, two and a four. We did six times on this list, six times for this list. One, two, three, four, five. And sixth and final time. Box on top, box 20. Box 20. <laughs> you guys purposely put box 4 and 20 on top of each other? No. <laughs> 420? Oh. <laughs> box 4 was on top of 20. I mean, not that I know what that means. Whatever that means, but box 4 was on top of 20. All right. Good luck. <laughs> the cat is not in. The, it's kind of could be as heavy as a cat. All right.
It's just it's just the num it's just a number, Rich, right? Alright, Josh. There you go. Nice. That's a complete set right there. Seven hundred cards. That's awesome. All these guys. Excellent. And there you have it, boys and girls. Another prize in the books. We're running out. So get into any St. Nick break while supplies last. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next break.